Melissa, this is one that you better pull out your popcorn for, because Charlie May Munger is taking no prisoners. He has uh, always been somebody who speaks his mind, but I'll tell you what, at the age of 97, he is not holding back. He is insulting just about anybody and everybody associated with Wall Street. I'll run you through just a few of the highlights. I hate even turning this off right now because uh, it, it's a, a new one coming just about every minute that's coming through. But he started off with SPACs today. When he started saying, uh, what do you think about SPACs? He said, well, the investment banking profession will sell. Yeah, crap, as long as crap can be sold, except for he used a little more explicit word for those things. He also started talking a little bit about what he's seeing just in terms of Wells Fargo. He was asked the question, why is the Daily Journal, has it only sold one share of Wells Fargo when Berkshire's been selling so much? He said, well, I don't think it's required that we absolutely have the same sort of situation as Berkshire. He did talk about how he was disappointed by the prior management there, how he didn't think they were conscientiously malevolent, but they definitely made some bad decisions and terrible had terrible judgment in what they did. He said, you can understand why Warren got disenchanted to explain Berkshire shares. He said, um, I'm a little more tolerant. I expect, expect less out of bankers than he does. Um, Bitcoin has been a big thing, a big topic of discussion. He's never been a fan of Bitcoin. And a few years ago, I think he called it rat poison. Um, this time he came out and was a little quieter at first. He said, since I never, he said, it's the equivalent of digital gold. And since I never buy gold, uh, I would never buy any Bitcoin. And I would re recommend others do the same. Then he went on to, to quote Oscar Wilde on fox hunting. And he said, it's basically the pursuit of the uneatable by the unspeakable. And added, we will not be following tech Tesla into Bitcoin. This is a great one that he just came out with, Melissa. He just came back with something else. He was asked, what do you think is worse, the valuation for Tesla or the valuation for Bitcoin? He's quoting somebody else, and I missed the name of who this was, but he said, I can't decide between a flea and a louse. I don't know what is worse. And then he was asked about GE and what happened there at General Electric. He said, I never bought a share of GE because I never liked the culture, and I was not surprised when it blew up. He said uh, Larry Culp, he, he thinks uh, better of Larry Culp and of what's going on with this. But again, uh, if you want to hear any roasting that's taking place, uh, you got to listen to this media meeting because uh, Charlie Munger at the age of 97 is literally taking no prisoners and insulting just about anybody who wants to listen in. It's great to always get his knowledge uh, and also his zingers. <laughs> Becky, thank you. Yeah. Becky Quack. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.